today, let us take some time to study the words of God with a sermon titled, Set Your Hearts on Things Above. Let's take a look at Colossians chapter 3, verse 2 together. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Let us consider why God has given us such words in the Bible. Have you ever thought about that? What does it mean by things above? It refers to the things in heaven. In other words, God is telling us to think of spiritual things instead of physical things. Then, why does God tell us to set our minds on things above and not on earthly things? It is because Satan always tries to make us forget about heavenly things and tries to make us believe that earthly things are our only reality. That is the reason why people make so much effort trying to achieve something on this earth. This is no different than when you dream. In your dreams, it is possible that you can become president and achieve anything you want. However, in the middle of the dream, is there anyone who thinks, oh, this must be a dream? Is there anyone who thinks this during their dream? While you are in your dream, what is happening seems like it is reality to you. However, at the end of the day, it is nothing more than just a dream. Yet, when you are in your dream, it really feels like that's reality. For example, let's say you're running a race in your dream. You're going to run with all your strength to win the race. But in reality, what is your body actually doing at that very moment? It's just lying there. Even though your body is simply lying down, in your dream you are making so much effort to run the race, you even sweat in the dream. Furthermore, let's imagine you're really thirsty in your dream and someone offers you a cold drink and you drink it all at once. What happens when you wake up? Is your thirst quenched? Your thirst cannot help but continue. This is how our life is on this earth. Why did God give us the words, set your hearts on things above, not on earthly things? We must clearly understand the reason why. Satan is making every effort to limit the spectrum of our thoughts. He is trying to make us forget heavenly things and focus only on earthly things. However, God is making our thoughts penetrate beyond this limited world so that we can see and perceive the world of a higher dimension. Satan tries to confine our thoughts. However, in order to grant us freedom from that confinement, God teaches us to set your hearts on things above, not on earthly things. This is why Satan takes all kinds of measures to tempt us and bind our thoughts to earthly things, while God keeps making us think of heavenly things. Let's take a look at Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. The great dragon was hurled down, that ancient serpent called the devil or Satan, who leads the whole world astray. It says, Satan leads the whole world astray. How is he leading the whole world astray? by making us only look at earthly things as if our life on this earth were our only life. In doing so, he is making us forget about heavenly things. This is how Satan leads the whole world astray. By examining the scene where Satan even tried to tempt Jesus, let us think about the questions. What kind of thoughts is Satan instilling into all mankind? Why does God teach us to only think of heavenly things? Having the clear answers to these questions, let us preach with confidence. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 7, Jesus answered him, It is also written, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and what else did he show? Their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. 
Satan only showed the splendor of this world and tried to limit Jesus' eyes to only focus on the glory of this world. If Satan tried tempting Jesus in this way, doesn't it mean that he will also try to tempt us in the same way? Satan will tempt us in the exact same manner. He will never show us the splendor of heaven and ask us, would you do this or that in order to receive the splendor of heaven? He will never approach us like that. Knowing all this, what was it that Jesus told him? Verse 10, Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written. What is written? Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and angels came and attended him. All three temptations from Satan were about earthly things. He tempted Jesus saying, Aren't you hungry? Isn't eating the most important thing for you to do? He also tempted Jesus by testing the power and authority of God through an earthly and physical perspective. Then he showed him the splendor of this world and said, I will give you all authority, riches, and glory of this world if you bow down to me. Like this, Satan always tries to limit our judgments and fix our thoughts on the things of this earth. That's why God says to us, this is only a dream. Our true reality is in the spiritual world. So always put your minds on things above. Set your hearts on heavenly things. When you ask for something or when you set a goal, always set your aim on heavenly things. This is how God has always been awakening us. By this, I would like to conclude today's sermon. Thank you very much.